In this video, we're going to do all the wiring and circuit breakers out here at the array. And then, I think that's it, and we'll be able to switch on the charge controller and see the electricity going in to charge the batteries. I'm so excited about this. Uh, so these circuit breakers that I'm using are 300 volt, 15 amp. They're DC circuit breakers from Midnight Solar. And I have three of these for the three strings that I'm gonna be installing. But this six gauge wire is going through the conduit and I'm using 10 gauge wire from the solar panels to this combiner box. And this combiner box is from Midnight Solar. I have plenty of extra wire here, right? This wire is, is our positive. That's why I put the red tape on here. So we're going to add a little bit more red tape so that we don't lose track of this one because I'm going to be cutting these leads shorter to match. And it looks like I have plenty of extra cable. These were cut at 104 feet. Uh, I wanted to make absolutely sure that I had extra and yeah, I mean, I'm going to be probably cutting off 10 feet from here. Don't want to lose track of it. <laughs> so the first thing underneath this is where the combiner is. So let's get that out of the way. From a previous video, you might recall this grounding wire. This is coming up from the ground rod. So on the back side of these circuit breakers, they have these little plastic clips, and that's what clips onto this DIN rail. So I gotta pull these clips down. When you pull them down, now I can fasten them to the DIN rail. This is the cover plate for the combiner box, and it comes with several knockouts. Two of them are already open, so I'm just gonna break off the rest of them. So that, that looks good as far as uh, position. So now I can go ahead and push these uh, little yellow tabs up and that locks them into position. It's a, uh, it's a plated copper bar. Nice. Then there's a lug on here. Okay, great. So we have a little lug. On the back side, we have a little star washer and then the screw. Now you can see it combines all of them together. So in the picture, it actually shows the uh, bus bar going to the left. So I'm going to switch that around. Okay, so with that swapped around, I'm going to put this in. So these circuit breakers are polarity sensitive. There's a positive and negative symbol up here at the top. The positive symbol is the higher potential. In this case, that's the solar panel. The negative is the lower potential. That's going to be the charge controller. This combiner plate is going to go to the charge controller. So I'm going to put this on the negative side. And now I can go through and tighten. So this positive wire has to come up here to the combiner along with this one.
these strain reliefs are really tight. So the first string is going to be these four panels right above me. Now it doesn't really matter which direction I wire them, but they all have to go positive, negative, positive, negative. So I'm going to just grab one of these sets. This is a positive wire. And I'll come down here to this one. And here's a negative on it. And I'm just going to connect these up like that. And this one I'm going to tuck up. And I'm going to tuck this guy up as well. So these are my main positive and negative for this string. Even though it's cloudy out today, these things are being energized, so I do have to be careful about that right now. Uh, but this is the uh, negative one. And I'm going to come over here. This string like that earlier I marked the ends of those wires based on this and let's check the polarity inside the box and make sure I had that correct so as you can see I've got 182 volts and there's no negative symbol there if I was to switch these and come back here I now have a negative symbol so I've got the polarity correct that this is positive and this is negative. Now I'm going to go disconnect those so that there's no voltage inside the box while I'm still working on them. So any, any wire out of the string can be disconnected. So I'm just going to pick one. This one's close. I'm going to hold this down and pull it apart. Now these two are what I'll connect and that will make electricity to the box when I'm ready to go for that. So that's my procedure and I'm just going to continue on and wire up all of them now. I'm wiring the strings a little bit odd with a left, middle, and right, but this time-lapse video of how the shadow moves across the property should uh, shed some light on why I'm doing it that way. <laughs> Yeah, there's no negative symbol on that. All right, so all of our strings have good polarity. The cover's on. Let's go inside and turn on the charge controller. Hey. hey, we're ready to go. So first thing is to turn on the solar charge controller with the breaker to the battery. It has to be battery first. So we'll switch this on. And you see that flashed? So next, we're gonna go outside to the array. We're gonna switch those circuit breakers on. Actually, why don't you turn it on, Elena? Go ahead. Throw this throw all the switches up. Yay! And check it out. The LEDs turned on. <laughs> all right, now we go back inside. Okay, let's double check our polarity before we throw the last switch. 186.1 volts. There's no negative sign, so we have the polarity correct. This circuit breaker, when we throw this up, we're going to send 
solar electricity to the charge controllers. That just switched into bulk mode. We can now take a look at this. It says 600 watts. So 600 watts are currently being put in to this guy. And we can even see that on our phone. So if we go to the Victron app, there we go. Terrific, we can now charge the batteries. Well, thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. You can see it's in absorption mode right now. And to try to keep it going, I have the uh, inverter running. And I'm running these two electric heaters right now. One is on high and one is on low. These are 1500 watt heaters. So we're a little bit over uh, 2000 watts by having one on high and one on low. I didn't want to run them all the way at 3000 watts by having both on high because I was worried about killing the inverter. But the inverter's doing it right now. Somewhere around 2100 watts coming out of it. And as you can see, we're producing an extra 480 watts going into the battery. So let's see, if that's 500 and that's 3000, that means the inverter and heaters are using 2500 watts. Very cool.